Thanks for listening to Life with Four Boys Coffee, Please. I'm Denise Dykstra, and uh, I'm basically giving you this post just to ask for advice. I need some advice, and so I hope you enjoy this post, and you can leave me a comment here or um, click the link to go to the actual post, and then you can leave me a comment there. Thanks. And just in case you want a behind the scenes, this is how <laughs> it's going. This is Waylon. He's obviously very interested in me asking for help. And here's my coffee, pumpkin spice, because it's fall. And here's my view. How a summer girl can enjoy Bridget Colt. I'm my best self in summer, I told my husband this weekend. At the time I declared this proclamation, I was sitting on the top of a cold metal bleacher on a windy 40-ish degree evening, feeling the sharp wind hit my back. We were there to watch our son, too, Isaac, play a varsity football game. This link right here, it'll take you to a really cool video. But, my husband answered me dumbfounded, there is no football in summer. And this is the constant give and take of the season of life we are in. I wish for the laid back time of summer and my husband can't get enough of all the sports all the boys are in right now. If anyone has advice on this new season... I'm happy to hear it. We're in that tough spot where we are insanely busy with three boys in sports. There are girlfriends, girlfriends, who now visit our boys here at our home, and I don't have a clue how to handle that. These boys of ours never sleep, and so they will wander the house at all hours of the night because they are in constant search of food. Ask us how fun it is that our bedroom is right off the kitchen. My brother visited me the other morning and we were discussing how he's getting rid of some things to make room for enjoying the things he has already, things he already has. I know I said sounding wise with one cup of coffee in me and my husband's pajama pants on because mine were in the laundry. You can do a lot of good things, but you can't do a lot of things great. I want to make sure I'm doing the great things, the best things, not all caught up in the good that I miss what was best. How do you do that? I love summer the best because in the summer you live two months of a break from reality in so many ways. I mean, at no other point of the year do you feel cooking your dinner over an open fire and eating it at 9 p.m. is a great idea, but in summer, you totally can and will. It is in summer I have hopes and dreams of how great the rest of the year can be. Then reality hits me wave after wave after wave and I'm caught gasping for breath and trying to get my footing. I'm not a strong swimmer, but I'm a great beach goer. So someone, give me some advice, please. I know, I just opened myself up to a lot of words here, but I need someone who has gone through this season and come out with some great results. I want to be able to look at someone in the future and say, you know what? I know, I was there like you are. But then I did this, and it made a big difference. For instance, one lady watching me trying to figure out my schedule one day while I was working at the library. I had my work schedule and all the sports schedules, and I was trying to make it all work. It's a busy, busy season you are in, I know, she told me, but learn to enjoy it. It's over faster than you can imagine, and it really is a fun time. I keep her words close to my heart when the chaos seems overwhelming. I immediately begin to think how I can make it fun because I know all too well how quickly this season is over. Her advice was a game changer for me. That said, I'm wise enough to know when I need to ask for more help. Tell me how a summer girl can really enjoy frigid cold. Help me pack a great football cross-country back for the back of the Suburban. Give me tips on how to keep the spark alive in my marriage when we are literally spending any alone time watching a sporting event and we spend our time at home falling asleep at any moment because we are exhausted. What do you feed big crowds of teens who show up at your home and we want them here? Tell me what you did. Tell me what you did that you want me to know works. Tell me. I want to hear your story and I want to learn from you. Leave me a comment here or message me on Facebook. Personal message me on Instagram. Send a tweet. Email me. Just give me your best advice. I'll happily share it if you let me. I'll happily share your advice with others if you let me. That's how we know we can help each other. By telling each other our stories. Thanks.
You can find me here at Life with Four Boys Coffee Please, the blog. Obviously, here at YouTube where you can subscribe. Here on Facebook, Life with Four Boys Coffee Please, just like. Here at Instagram, my favorite. And also here at Twitter. Thanks. I can't wait to hear everybody's stories.